Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I wanted to talk about sunscreen, my favorite sunscreens across all different categories, because I know a lot of people are looking for a good sunscreen that they can use. These are gonna be for your face, that you can put on every day, that you can feel good about, you can feel like you're getting good protection from the sun, especially going into the warmer months like we are right now. People are really looking for a good sunscreen. My Real favorites are the tinted mineral sunscreens. Those are the ones that work best for me and best for my skin. But just because those work best for me and my skin doesn't mean that they're gonna work best for you and your skin. So I want everybody to be able to find a sunscreen that they love and will use every day because of course sunscreen doesn't work if it sits in the bottle in your cabinet. It only works to protect your skin from those aging rays of the sun if you actually put it on and if you actually put on enough to get the SPF on the label. So I know I've told you guys a number of times that you need a quarter teaspoon of sunscreen for your face and your neck to get the SPF number on the label and that is universal across the board. It doesn't matter if you're putting on a sunscreen or a moisturizer with sunscreen in it or makeup with sunscreen in it. You still need that amount to get the SPF number on the label. If you put on less, you're cutting down the sun protection factor by a lot. You know, the sun's rays really do a lot of the damage to our skin. They do a lot of the premature aging on our skin. And the way people are so into skincare these days and spending a lot of money on skincare, like you don't want to be spending a lot of money on skincare, spending a lot of time doing a skincare routine, and then having the sun rob you of all the goodness that you just invested in with your skin, right? So it's a really good idea to protect that investment in your skin by just wearing sunscreen. So I've got 11 sunscreens to share with you here today. They are across four different categories. I've got tinted mineral sunscreens. Then I'm going to talk about non-tinted mineral sunscreens. Then I'm going to talk about hybrid mineral chemical sunscreens. And then I'm going to talk about chemical sunscreens, both U.S approved sunscreen ingredients and European slash Asian approved chemical sunscreen ingredients. All right, so let's jump in with the tinted mineral sunscreens. I like mineral sunscreen better because my skin is very sensitive and a lot of the chemical sunscreens can be irritating on the skin. My holy grail tinted mineral sunscreen is the Undefined r, r sunscreen. I discovered this one last year. It was the winner of my sunscreen testing video for the year. I love this one because it's an SPF 50. It's got a PA++++ rating. That is the highest UVA protection rating in a sunscreen. So you know you're getting really good, robust UVA protection with this one. And it is such a beautiful sunscreen. I wear this every single day, no matter what. Well, on some days I don't wear it. I have a whole sunscreen wardrobe. I've got like a cabinet full of sunscreens that I do love. And depending on the day, I'll wear a different one. But, you know, 95% of the time, it's this. And it's this because this is such a lightweight and fluid sunscreen. It's so beautiful on the skin and it's so hydrating. Now this is tinted and so it is not gonna be the right shade for everyone. It happens to be a perfect shade for me so I can just put it on and I don't have to color adjust it at all. The finish on this sunscreen is a nice glowy luminosity. So it's gonna make your skin look really like healthy and lit from within glow. So I definitely recommend this one for people with dry skin because I find it so nice and hydrating, but of course I have combo skin and I still love this one. So I think this is great for anyone with dry, normal, combo. You could even probably have oily skin and use this and really, really like it. All right, my second favorite tinted mineral sunscreen is the Elta MD UV Elements SPF 44. This was the winner of my sunscreen testing video a few years ago, I want to say. This one was like my holy grail for three years straight. Nothing could top it, even though I would test 20 sunscreens a year. Nothing came close to this until the R&R &R and then poof, the R&R. &R. I just love that so much. This is more of like a traditional lotion texture sunscreen. It does have a nice pump dispenser here, which is great. This one is also 40 minutes water resistant. The tint on this one is a pretty good match for me, so it's gonna be a little bit too dark for some, a little bit too light for others. This also has a glowy kind of luminous finish. I do like to put a little powder over it or put foundation on over it. This sunscreen is great for all skin types. It's especially good for people with drier skin. It was actually formulated 
recommended by dermatologists for post-procedure skin. So it's got antioxidants in it. It's very protective. It's very soothing to the skin. I wore this every day for like the three years that it was the Holy Grail. I used it to test makeup. It didn't make my makeup settle in my wrinkles or wear off any faster. So this one is beautiful under makeup. This is like a perfect 365 day a year sunscreen. All right, this next sunscreen is gonna be more for people with normal to oily skin who are on the paler side of the spectrum. This is another tinted sunscreen. It's the Babo Botanicals Daily Sheer Fluid Tinted Mineral Sunscreen. It's an SPF 50. This one isn't water resistant, so I wouldn't wear this one to the beach. This is more of like an everyday sunscreen. If the tint on this were a little bit darker, it would be probably my Holy Grail sunscreen because it has a little bit more of a matte finish than the previous two that I showed you, which have like a glowy luminous finish. This is a very lightweight sunscreen. It's very fluid. It doesn't feel greasy going on at all. It doesn't set up to be like a greasy finish. It actually sets up, it dries back to the point where you don't really feel like you have anything on your skin. You know, most sunscreens, you can still feel them on there all day. And I know a lot of people don't like that feeling. So if you hate that feeling, I would say this is gonna be the sunscreen for you to try. This was the winner of my second round of sunscreen testing that I did last year. So I actually did two videos last year. I can link them above in case you wanna check those out so that you can see it in action. You can see what it looked like on my skin, how it wore under makeup and all the real specifics about it. This is just gonna be more of like an overview of the best ones, but I can link those videos for you there and in the info box below the video as well. It works beautifully under makeup. It doesn't change the way the makeup goes on or anything. So it is a gorgeous sunscreen. And the last of the tinted mineral sunscreens is a long, long time favorite. It is the Australian Gold Botanical Tinted Face SPF 50 BB Cream. This one was the winner of my sunscreen testing video. I don't know, five, six, seven years ago, something like that. And this is a really great one because this is the one that comes in a few different shades. Compared to the other sunscreens that I've already shown you, this one is gonna be a thicker, creamier consistency. It's got a very lightweight feel for something that comes out of the tube looking so much like a thick cream. And it really just glides over the skin beautifully. This one does come in three or four shades though. And even if they don't have the exact shade match for you, you can buy two of them and mix it. The medium to tan is a little bit too dark for me and the lighter shade is a little bit too light for me. So I just buy two and mix them together. It dries and sets to a really beautiful matte finish and it's actually very smoothing if you have enlarged pores or texture, it's very smoothing on your enlarged pores and texture. It also works great under makeup. It doesn't affect the wear of the makeup. It doesn't make the makeup settle into your wrinkles. This one is 80 minutes water resistant and it is so tenacious. When I go to wash my face at the end of the day, I need an oil cleanser to get this one off. So it is a great sunscreen for the beach, for working out, and for wearing under makeup. Now, I don't really recommend this one for people with super dry skin because it can be a little bit drying. It's definitely best for people with normal combo oily skin. They're also very affordable. They're like $15 or $16 for three ounces of sunscreen. So this is gonna be the most economical of all the ones that I've shown you. All right, the next sunscreens are gonna be the non-tinted mineral sunscreen. So these will be a white mineral sunscreen and both of these are by doctors. So <laughs> the first one is Dr. G Green Mild Up Sunscreen. This is an SPF 50 with a PA++++ rating. This is a really nice sunscreen. Of course, it comes out of the tube white, when you put it on, it rubs in so beautifully, so easily. It's really lightweight and fluid. It doesn't feel greasy on the skin. It does leave the slightest white cast though, on me anyway. And so this will be perfect for people who have much paler skin or if you just always wear makeup over your sunscreen. It also has like a bit of a shiny, dewy kind of finish. And I gotta say when I wear makeup with it, it does make my makeup settle into the wrinkles a little bit more than normal, but it doesn't make it look bad. It doesn't make my skin look dry or cracked or anything like that. So I really like this sunscreen and for a non-tinted mineral, it is one of the best ones I've tried. Then the other non-tinted mineral sunscreen, I don't have the bottle to show you. I don't know where this sunscreen is. <laughs> I've been looking for it everywhere 
and I can't find it, but I know it's here somewhere. Anyway, it is the Dr. Jart Every Sunday, which is an SPF 50, also PA++++ rating. This is such a beautiful sunscreen. It's a little bit different from the Dr. G. They're very similar, but they're a little bit different because this has a luminous finish. The Dr. Jart has a matte finish. It does give me the slightest, slightest white cast, but even less of a white cast than the Dr. G. So I do like the Dr. Jart better than the Dr. G just because it's more of a matte finish, less of a white cast. I tested this in my sunscreen testing, I think two or three years ago, and it was so good. I think it was like the second runner up in that video. And I also wanted to mention an all mineral stick sunscreen. I'm always looking for a great sunscreen stick just to throw in my bag for like when I am going to the beach or to keep in my purse when I do need a little bit of a touch up. You know, sometimes you get caught out in the sun, you haven't applied your sunscreen in a few hours and you need to do like a quick little touch up. So the sunscreen I like best for that is from Make Prem. This is an all mineral stick with zinc oxide. It's an SPF 50. It has a PA++++ rating. And unlike most of the mineral sticks that I've tried, it's really creamy to put on. The other ones that I put on, they're so dry and chalky, or they're like super, super greasy. And this one just is like right on the line between chalky and greasy. It has a really beautiful feel, and I love it that it's kind of a matte finish on it. It feels really like powdery and silky on the skin. I love to use this for like doing the backs of my hands because you know, you wash your hands so many times a day. You should definitely be putting sunscreen on the backs of your hands if you're interested in anti-aging at all. Include your face, your neck, your chest, and the backs of your hands every single day and that will pay off for you so well. I don't really recommend using this as like your first line of sun defense because it does take a lot of swipes of this to get the actual SPF number on the label, but as a touch up for later in the day, this is a great product and this is my favorite stick sunscreen. Uh, that I've tried, and I have tried a lot of them. I've tried the Super Goop one, I've tried the Elta MD one, I've tried the Neutrogena one, and this one is by far the best one. All right, let's move on to the hybrid sunscreens. I really only have one to show you, and this has been a long time favorite. This is the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. So this isn't like a dedicated sunscreen, but it's a moisturizer with sunscreen in it. And this is a really great way to save steps in your morning skincare routine, like if you're already using a bunch of serums and stuff and you just want to mash two steps together which would be your moisturizer and your sunscreen you can do that with this this is an spf 30 and it's a mix of chemical sunscreen agents and mineral sunscreen so it has zinc oxide and then it has a bunch of your standard us approved chemical sunscreens but this also has all the same great skin care ingredients that the CeraVe pm does and CeraVe pm is one of my all-time favorite moisturizing lotions for day. It's a nice lightweight lotion and so is this. So this contains ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. So it's a really great moisturizer and also a really great sunscreen. This goes on without leaving any white cast. It's really beautiful on the skin. It definitely leaves like a dewy lit from within kind of glow luminescence on the skin, which, you know, people are really into these days, so that should work out. I mean, the regular CeraVe without sunscreen leaves a glowy finish. So it's not a lot different from the CeraVe PM, except that it does contain the sunscreen. It is an SPF 30. The minimum sunscreen you should use every day is a 30. So if you're using a 15, try to bump up to a 30 if you can, that'll give you more robust protection. The thing is that, you know how I told you about the quarter teaspoon, the the vast majority of people using sunscreen don't use enough on a daily basis. And so if you can compensate a little bit by using a higher SPF, so I usually will go with an SPF of 50. I'll put on my whole quarter teaspoon in the morning. And then if I'm just inside, like working here at my desk, I'm not getting direct sun exposure for two hours for the entire day. I don't reapply for the rest of the day. Generally about 80% of that sunscreen coverage will still be effective by the end of the day. So you don't have to top up. Also, you're supposed to reapply the sunscreen like every two hours that you're out in the sun. That instruction is really for when you're at the beach, when you're out in direct sun, it's for every two hours of direct sun exposure that you're getting. 
I mean, you can get that inside if you're sitting next to a bright window, then you should definitely reapply. All right, and the next category is the chemical sunscreens. So the first one I have to show you is a standard US chemical sunscreen. This is by La Roche-Posay. It's their Anthelios AOX Daily Antioxidant Serum with Sunscreen. This is an SPF 50, and this one contains five chemical sunscreen ingredients, and they are the standard five that you'll find in most chemical sunscreens here in the United States. So this you could run down to your CVS or your Target or wherever and just pick it up right up off the shelf and start using it today. So this is another one that's kind of a moisturizer sunscreen hybrid, but again, you do have to use a quarter teaspoon to get that SPF 50 on the label. This one blends into the skin really easily. It doesn't feel greasy. It feels really, really lightweight. It does leave more of a shiny finish that I like. You know, it pretty much Almost everything leaves more of a shiny finish than I like. It's just the way it is having in large pores. You just don't like a shiny finish, but this is definitely like a dewy, glowy finish. It can work really well under makeup. It does make my makeup settle into wrinkles a tiny bit more than some of my other sunscreens, but it never looks like heavy and chunky and it doesn't make it crack in the wrinkles or anything. I used to use this one for makeup testing all the time. It doesn't make your makeup wear any shorter, so it's a really nice sunscreen. And then one that I discovered this past year that I'm really loving a lot, and this one is not an American sunscreen. This is a Korean sunscreen, and so it uses some of those international sunscreen chemical ingredients that we can't get here. So this is the Beauty of Joseon Relief Sun Rice and Probiotic Sunscreen. This is an SPF 50 plus with a PA plus 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 rating. This is a standard white sunscreen. This is a really lightweight sunscreen. It rubs in beautifully. It only takes like a couple of seconds to put it on and you know, get your whole face done. It doesn't get tangled up in your hair or anything. It does have a pretty luminous finish for me, of course, uh, and so I would have to put on something to kind of take down the shine. I wore this for a few days just to test it and see if it would irritate my skin. I didn't have a ton of irritation from it. I can't say if that would be the case if I used it, you know, long term, but, you know, I put it on for like three or four days straight and I thought that it was fine. So it's a really nice sunscreen. It works really well under makeup. And then the last one that I have to show you here today is the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. This has eight types of hyaluronic acid in it. It is an SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 plus. I believe this has been re- package so the bottle looks different now. I think it's got like a big blue thing on it. I can show it over here. But this is one that I have really enjoyed for years. This is another Korean sunscreen that uses a mix of sunscreen ingredients that we have approved here in the U.S. as well as some that are not approved here in the U.S. that are approved on the rest of the planet. This is another one that's so lightweight. It just rubs into the skin so beautifully. When you give it 20 minutes to set up, it's not greasy on the skin. It's not heavy. It's not going to make you feel hot. This is also really hydrating because it does have the five types of hyaluronic acid in there, but it also is formulated to be cooling on the skin. So if you're the kind of person who always felt like sunscreen made you super hot, you could give this one a try because it's not going to feel like your skin can't breathe, right? It's going to feel like a moisturizer or something even lighter than a moisturizer, maybe like a serum. So this could be the perfect sunscreen for you. So that is just 11 of the many, many, many sunscreens that are out on the market today. But those are my favorites after testing a lot of sunscreens. And so those are the ones that I can recommend to you so that hopefully you can find the perfect sunscreen for your skin. So I would love to hear if you have a sunscreen that's different from one of these, what your favorite is, or I'd love to hear if one of these is your favorite, why you love it so much. So definitely leave a comment in the info box below the video. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful and informative, go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Of course, shopping links for everything will be in the info box below the video for quick and easy shopping. So that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.